I wouldn't say I've gotten the due, uh, but I'm I'm still working hard towards it, and uh, I believe one day I'll get my due, definitely. I wasn't a social media guy before, but now I'm trying to focus on social media as well because um, you know it it holds so much value, right? And I come from uh, you know from that era where people used to say, "If a doctor or engineer doesn't become a doctor, then nothing will happen." Everyone wants to be a doctor. Everyone wants to be a doctor. So she was a kid back then. I mean, she was studying in eighth standard. So, our idea was that off on screen I was uh, her hockey teacher, and off screen I was her mathematics and science teacher. Uh, I'm fan of Salman Khan, but I mean, if I look at him, he's only a Salman Khan fan. But I was closed in the camera, closed in the room, and I didn't want to be there. I finished my engineering and then you know I I started working with Vipro. So Vipro me maine 2 saal wahan pe Pune mein kaam kiya. Hello and welcome everybody. This is Sukarna. Welcome to Times TV. We have Zoheb Siddiqui with us. You see him on Imli right now. Hi Zoheb, thank you so much for joining with us. How are you doing? Pleasure. I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good. So tell us how has been the response so far uh, with Imli. It's one of the more top, most watched shows on television right now. I mean, uh, it's been a great experience so far. Um, you know, people are enjoying this character in the in the show. It's been a you know it's been a, a famous franchisee. Uh, the already previously Sumbul and Faman were there, and uh, you know they've taken the show on the highest peak. now it's our responsibility to you know take the show for the head and uh, we are doing our best i mean the kind of love people are showering and uh, you know giving us uh, good compliments i'm very grateful to them and uh, i'm thoroughly enjoying it what's the kind of response you have been getting for your uh, people have been saying they are enjoying this character i mean uh, they like the looks they like the character they like the you know heroism in this character so overall it's been uh, you know positive and uh, uh, great response from all the you know audience so far that you had taken a sabbatical uh, uh, like what was the reason and what were you doing back then see uh, there were uh, you know a lot of reasons i mean uh, uh, it was covid when you know i was working in the uh, in a show called Uh, Radha Krishna, and suddenly COVID. You know, uh, we got hit by COVID. So I decided to take a break. You know, uh, uh, there were some responsibilities, family responsibilities were there as well. So I decided to take a break, and you know, it was a you know break long due. I mean, some responsibilities had to be finished. So I went on a journey. I mean, I traveled a lot during these times. I you know found myself. I mean. uh i had to take this break so when i felt i you know i'm done with this break i got back to work so so even this industry is full so full of uncertainties when you take a break you know it often happens that out of sight out of mind it it gets difficult to get back on screen did you face any such difficulties when you were you were ready to come back uh uh yes you are right i mean uh, uh you said uh, out of sight out of mind yes people do forget people, uh, you know actors when they're not working in this industry but uh, i never stopped believing in myself i mean i had this uh, idea and you know i had this belief in myself that i you know whenever i start work start working i will get work so you know i really trust the process you know i i you know i started giving auditions i started meeting people and, and um, you know mm, luckily i got work so i wouldn't say that it's uh, i faced you know any difficulties or any kind of issues uh, while looking for work but yes um, you know one has to believe in the process and you know keep working hard so. <clears throat> you have been in the industry for quite many years and have been part of many popular shows in the past as well uh showbiz mm-hmm. mein entry kaise hua like how did your journey begin 
see uh, i always wanted to be an actor i remember when i was a kid i was very fond of uh, you know movies watching movies especially indian cinema uh, i'm a big, very big fan of shahrukh khan so i grew up watching his movies i remember about i was watching dd as if for the first time in theater and i was like i i don't want to go out of this theater i want to keep watching this movie and you know i want to be uh, you know here in this moment with uh, with ddlj so you know that uh, made an impact uh, uh, you know on me you know very early in my you know uh, uh, days so i always wanted to be an actor but uh, you know i you know finished my studies and then i had no idea how to you know how to you know get about it so i joined creating characters that's an acting institute in mumbai i you know fin- finished my you know, acting studies and then i start giving auditions and luckily i you know i started getting work i started with cid but uh, uh, soon i you know i i got television offers and i started working in mm-hmm. as <laughs> well that first audition process do you remember that moment i was very nervous about it i mean i i remember it was uh, uh mahabharat ka audition and uh, i was very you know very vulnerable and very new in this industry because uh, i i just finished my acting classes so that was my first audition and uh, i remember when i went there i was very nervous i had no idea about it how to you know you know uh, i mean you finish your acting classes but still when you face the camera for the first time there is a nervousness and you know this slight he- uh, hesitation in you but uh, i didn't get the part but it was a great experience great learning experience uh, from the audition point of view so i you know i never you know never believed that uh, uh, you wouldn't get work so you had you have to trust the process you you know you start giving auditions you keep giving auditions and you know you you get an idea about it so the more you more and more you give auditions you you know you get the you know you get used to it so i believed in believed in it and i you know i'm still uh, believing in it i keep giving auditions on a regular basis and what was that moment like when you backed your first show i jumped off my <laughs> my couch i was like yeah i got it i got the part so oh, that was my first uh, you know uh, lead show in the tv industry that was in sapne sohane ladak pan ke so i was very excited about it because uh, i'd been working hard for it and um, you know it's a great feeling when you you know when you get a uh, you know main part in the tele- you know main part in the show <laughs> or uh, your film or ott so i was very excited and you know i was just waiting for uh, you know for myself to be on the set uh, you know to show my skills and craft <clears throat> <clears throat> having been a part of so many popular shows uh, do you feel that you have gotten your due in the industry um i wouldn't say i've gotten the due uh but i'm i'm still working hard towards it and uh, i believe one day i'll get my due definitely so i don't have to worry about it i mean uh i don't have to keep thinking about it all the time because uh, that might affect my you know thought process and my idea my you know approach towards work so my approach towards work is that i have to be you know genuine towards what i'm doing right now and uh, uh just believe in the moment i mean just be present at the moment uh what you have in hand right now uh just focus on that and rest will you know things will happen automatically so when you took this break uh for your personal reasons and when you made a comeback did you see any change in the work process in the industry um i wouldn't Say uh, the work process process has changed, but uh, there are other changes as well. I mean, this, uh, previously social media wasn't uh, uh, as much there. 
when when I started working. But today, social media is a very big platform, and you know it. Uh, it is uh, people do depend a lot on. I mean, uh, in the industry, we actors and all of us are you know on social media, uh, making reels and you know trying to trying to promote the our stuff and you know whatnot. So yeah, this this has changed a lot. I wasn't a social media guy before, but now I'm trying to focus on social media as well because. Um, you know, it it holds so much value, right? So you feel that pressure uh, to be seen uh, amongst people and like, you know, followers talking about you constantly. Do you feel that pressure because of social media? No, I don't. No, I don't. I mean, uh, I'm not a social media guy. I I'm like old school. I don't, you know, I'm I don't. I think I I should uh, you know focus on focus more on my work rather than spending more time on social media because uh, you know, the more and more and more I get into social media it will become a habit and I will start thinking about it and start worrying about it. So my job is to focus on my craft and my you know the job that I have been given. So I believe that if that is done, uh, rest all the things will you know will fall in place. So, like in like, if we are talking about social media, it's like जो दिखता है वो बिकता है. Many actors have opened up about you know like they are asked कितने followers हैं. More than the work that they have done, it's about how popular they are. मतलब आजकल even if an actor is not working and is popular on social media, that is given more credibility. Do you feel like absolutely that way? Ah, कहीं ना कहीं मुझे भी ऐसा लगता है कि सोशल मीडिया कहीं ना कहीं गवर्न कर रही बहुत सारी चीजें और आई मीन दिस इज गोइंग टू नो दिस इज ऑन अ वेरी इनिशियल लेवल राइट नाउ बिकॉज सोशल मीडिया इज जस्ट नो एंटर्ड हियर सो इट विल टेक टाइम एंड अभी काफी ग्रो भी करेगा तो काफी लोग इस पे बहुत ज्यादा तवज्जो देने के बाद तो मैं प्रेशर नहीं लेता हूँ मैं लेना नहीं चाहता हूँ एक्चुअली इसलिए मैं दूर रहता हूँ सोशल मीडिया से Uh, so you're talking about your uh, journey in the industry. Has it been uh, a smooth process for you, like convincing your parents, convincing your family to uh, enter showbiz? Um, no, it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't smooth. I mean, uh, I belong to a technical background. I'm a mechanical engineer. My and none of my family members have been in this industry. I mean, no one has no links or whatsoever. in this industry so and i come from uh, you know from that era where people used to say agar doctor or engineer nahi bane to phir kuch nahi hone wala so i think my engineering and i started work in pune for a technical company but uh, i had this uh, dream in my mind that i had to be an actor i have to give it a shot So one fine day, I decided to you know give it a shot. I came back to Mumbai and I started giving. I joined this acting acting industry or creating characters acting institute. But uh, yeah, my father was like, uh, "Are you sure about it? I mean, do you really want to get into acting? Because uh, uh, it's a cruel industry, uh, I would say, because." Uh, uh, काफी बहुत सारी अलग गलत चीजों का भी एक्सपोजर है और यू नो काफी सारी चीजें जो बहुत अलग तरीके से बट आई यू नो आई कन्विंस माय फादर दैट दिस इज माय ड्रीम एंड आई हैव टू गिव इट अ शॉट सो उन्होंने मना नहीं किया आई मीन उन्होंने बोला ठीक है यू कैन यू कैन ट्राई देख लो कैसा होता है बट वो ड्रीम जो होता है वो कभी कभार आप पे इतना यू नो काफी हावी होता है आप पे आप काफी उस चीज से ड्रिवन होते हो और आप फिर सोचते नहीं हो कुछ कि कि मुझे जब आपका नो टारगेट आप तो देख रहा हो कि मुझे इसी चीज पे फोकस करना है तो यू नो रास्ते अपने आप खुलने शुरू हो जाते हैं एवरीथिंग स्टार्ट्स फॉलिंग इन प्लेस लाइक यू सेड यू नो यू यू आर एक्सपोज टू द बैड साइड ऑफ द एंटरटेनमेंट इंडस्ट्री एज वेल व्हेन यू आर ट्राइंग टू एंटर डिड यू हैव एनी सच एक्सपीरियंस 
Um, <laughs> bad experience. I mean, uh, not as such. I mean, I was very clear about it. Uh, I had my moral values and everything very clear in my mind. So yeah, yeah. People, you know, do try to take advantage of your innocence in in, in your initial days, and you know, they try to manipulate you. They try to take advantage of you. But uh, I wouldn't say that I was, you know. किसी ने यूज किया ऐसा कुछ एडवांटेज देने की कोशिश की क्योंकि आई हैड यू नो आई एम अ वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग हेडेड गाय और आई नो हाउ टू यू नो गो अबाउट थिंग्स सो इतना थोड़ा सा हर्ट होता था चीजों को लेके क्योंकि यू नो आप अगर किसी के हिसाब से चीजें नहीं करेंगे देन दिस यू नो दिस स्ट्रेट नो ऑन योर फेस बट ठीक है इट्स अ जर्नी आई मीन इट्स अ पार्ट एंड पार्सल ऑफ द प्रोसेस so you have to you know aapko understand karna hoga is cheez i'll just go back to the previous question and ask you this uh that as you said that you are from an engineer background and parents ka ye thought hota hai ki mera beta engineer doctor banega and you know earn for himself and the family as well so uh, was that a factor for you to break out of being a mechanical engineer and pursue acting on the financial aspect See, I, as well not on the financial aspect i mean i always wanted to be an actor i was driven by this uh, you know dream that uh, uh, you know i have to be an actor so finance was never a problem i mean it was not that great but it was okay i mean it was okay but uh, it was a dream that that was you know driving me uh, all the way through uh, you know from being a mechanical engineer and coming into into the industry and started working here so yeah dream was the main part <clears throat> you have been a part of so many shows uh, which has been your most fondest memory from any set if you can recall fondest memory there been many <laughs> i mean um see uh, from every show there are some moments that you you know that you remember and you're very fond of because um, i've worked with a lot of actors uh, a lot of directors and everywhere i you know i try to connect you know, with people on an individual le- uh, level so i have uh, you know i have fond memories of uh, uh, you know fond memories with people with actors with uh, with directors and with everyone on the set So, do I have to tell you what? Is uh, this the most fun part? Most fun part. 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 was a great learning experience because i was playing a negative guy and a uh, negative guy full of powers he can fly and you know he was he, was, he can manipulate manipulate e- easily people with his voice and so that was one character i you know i really enjoyed and working with the director kamal monga was a great learning experience and who has been your favorite co-star favorite co-star <laughs> आप मार पड़ोगे मुझे देखिए सब आई मीन जिनके साथ भी मैंने काम किया है वो बहुत ही कोऑपरेटिव और बहुत ही हेल्पफुल रहे साथ में काम करते चाहे वो सपने सुहाने में हमारे साथ मीमा मखवाना थी तो शी वाज अ किड बैक देन आई मीन शी वाज स्टडीइंग इन एट स्टैंडर्ड तो हमारा ऐसा होता था कि ऑफ ऑन स्क्रीन आई वाज हर हॉकी टीचर and off screen i was her mathematics and science teacher so in the, in in the vanity room we used to you know study science and maths she was in 8th standard mai uski exam ki preparation usko karwata tha off screen aur on screen hum log hockey ki preparation kar rahe hote the to ye kafi you know fond memories hain jo hamesha mere sath rahe and how is your bond with your current co-stars in mtm oh it's great i mean uh, Uh, with Karan and with the uh, Megha, the uh, uh, kafi acha hai. I mean, we share, we quite, uh, you know, we talk a lot about common things, like uh, 
Karan, I found out that he's a, you know, he's also a rider. He loves bikes. So, you know, whenever we get time, you know, we start talking about bikes. And, you know, we should go on a ride and uh, on a Sunday ride sometimes and go on a Antaba and have some breakfast and come back. So, so he's also fond of bikes. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, we do share some, uh, you know, common things in between us. Uh, Zoe, uh, did you also have a 9 to 5 job prior to, prior to acting? Yes, absolutely. I was working with Vipro in Pune. So, um, it wasn't a 9 to 5 job. Uh, because, uh, you, know, the, you know, the shift keeps shifting. Sometimes it's a morning shift, sometimes it's, a, it's an evening shift. So, yeah, it was, you know, uh, office wala job. Tha. And how was that experience? Great, I mean, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. And for how long so, yeah, were you working back then? I was there for uh, two years. I finished my engineering and then, you know, I I started working with Vipro. So, I worked there for two years in Vipro. It was a lot of fun. 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 What is it? It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. कहीं आपको अलग अलग रास्तों पे लेके जाती है तो आप हमेशा यू नो इस इस माइंडसेट से अगर चलेंगे दैट यू नो एवरी डे इज अ लर्निंग प्रोसेस एवरी मोमेंट इज अ लर्निंग प्रोसेस तो यू नो आप सीखने की अगर कोशिश करते रहेंगे तो आपकी जर्नी बहुत आसान हो जाती तो मैं हमेशा से ये मानता हूँ कि यू नो हमें कुछ नहीं आता हमें सब कुछ नहीं आता कुछ आता होगा बट सब कुछ नहीं आता बट यू यू नो यू Keep focusing on, you know, how to learn new things every day. Uh, Zoe, uh, you started your career with TV, and then you took a break, and then again you made a comeback with TV. Uh, didn't you try for Bollywood or other platforms? See, I wouldn't say I, I didn't try. I'm I'm still trying because see, I'm, I'm a very flexible actor. I I believe in the craft. I believe in you know uh, the process. So whether it's TV or OTT or films, you have to still show your acting skills and craft. So I understand uh, this process is different television, ki, but still craft to be your own. So I won't say that OTT is not going to get OTT. I'm still trying OTT. I'm still trying OTT. But uh, uh, I always say that whenever you, you know, when someone uh, reaches you and they, you know, they give you an offer. आपको कभी अगर वो अच्छा है तो कभी मना नहीं करना चाहिए तो जो पहला काम आए वो पकड़ वॉट अबाउट डूइंग रियालिटी शो वॉट काइंड ऑफ रियालिटी शो बिग बॉस ऑल दिस एडवेंचर रियालिटी शो खतरों के खिलाड़ी खतरों के खिलाड़ी डांस रियालिटी शो इज ऑल्सो बट आई एम नॉट अग फैन ऑफ बिग बॉस Uh, I'm fan of Salman Khan, but मैं अगर वो देखता हूँ तो वो भी सिर्फ सलमान खान के साफ की वजह से बट मैं शो वैसे अंदर कमरे में बंद होके घर में बंद होके रहना नहीं चाहूँ के खिलाड़ी नो फियर आई मीन दैट हाउस इज समिंग दैट यू नो दैट टेस्ट योर पेशेंस एंड इट माइट change you as a person and uh, you know it might show your darkest side in the show and people wouldn't want to enjoy that uh, on television so as uh, you know as, as actors as human beings our responsibility is to uh, uh, moral responsibility is to you know give guidance and give right message to to our audience and if we show our darkest side on television then what would they learn So yes that is one mm. one area where I I don't want to be part of it. Uh a gift to remember uh gifting your parents after you know fulfilling their dreams or rather like your dream of becoming an actor. A gift um uh, I 
I gave a smart watch to my you know my father when I you know when I earned mm. you know my from my first show. So it was his birthday. I randomly decided I didn't tell him that I'm going to buy something for you. So I uh, went and buy, bought a you know a smart watch for him, and he was very excited about it. He beat up now since they can. So yeah, that I remember. That was it. Thank you, Zoe. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. And Thank you very much. Wish you all the best. Take care. See you Thank again. Thank you very much. Yeah. Bye. Same to you. And thank you for having me. Bye. Bye. Bye.